in the future as we get set now for the compound gold medal match for the juniors. Junior match. This is the gold medal final. Carl Arkey along with Hugh McDonald as we get set for Lexi Keller and Runya Greidelin from Norway in the junior women's compound gold medal match. And a big roar goes up from the crowd as the young ladies take to the stage here at the uh, South Point Hotel Equestrian Center. Normally an equestrian center, but today we've turned it into an archery center. And these two young ladies take to the stage. This is Lexi Keller of the United States, who got here by defeating Maya Orlik of Croatia, 6-2 in the quarterfinals. Lexi, Lexi then went on to beat Maria, Maria Vino Gradova of Russia by the same score of 6-2, and there is her coach. Mel Nichols from the, from the States, yes. Yes, Mel Nichols. And now we take a look at Runya Greidlin of Norway, who won her quarterfinal match hands down, defeating her opponent 6 0. Then had to get past Contessa Lowe, 7 3, to make the finals, where she is meeting Lexi Keller. So Keller against Greidlin in the junior women's compound match. All right, so Mr. McDonald, please tell us how we play this game and how the score is kept. All right, this is a set play match. So we have three arrows per set, and it's a race to six points. Will be the winner. So at the end of each set, they'll have agents down at the target scoring the arrows, and the archer with the higher score will earn two points for that set. If the archers are tied at the end of that set, they will each get one single point for that set, and the archer, if an archer out and out loses a set, they'll get zero points. Opening arrows are nine. Evidence. Two and nine for Runya Greidlin to start off, and they'll alternate arrows. They yes, uh, each archer shoots one arrow at a time. Uh, Ms. Greidlin started out. Uh, it was determined before that she would start this, this match. After this set, it will be the archer with the lower score, or the lower number of set points, who will lead out each set. And the juniors, generally speaking, we're talking about youngsters who are between the age of 17 and 20. Yes, that is the, the conventional age. At the World Championships level, there is no cadet, or at least at the indoor World Championships level, there is no cadet category. Which is 17 and under. Exactly. So theoretically, some of these athletes might be younger. Uh, there is no real reason why a younger archer can't shoot 18 meters, because the distance is quite small. So you don't need a huge amount of bow weight. All you need to do is be good. And, you know, a 14-year-old can be just as good as a, an 18-year-old at this distance. Well, great experience for these two young ladies and the archers to come here in the junior That's competition. And this is a gorgeous venue. So I, I wish I'd been on a stage like this when I was a junior. The, the lights, the audience, all of this. It's world class. It's absolutely gorgeous. Oh, my goodness. Well, the World Archery Federation does a tremendous job of setting up these venues and allowing us to bring it to you via YouTube. And we'll continue to do the same throughout the outdoor season, which will start in April in Shanghai, continue in May in Antalya, Turkey. And then we'll head back to my stopping grounds, Ogden, Utah. Spectators, this time we so we see the scores are in. And Rudy Greidlin with a 29 to 28 for Lexi Keller. And so the two set points go to Runya Greidlin from Norway, who is 18 okay, so years old. Lexi, not 16 years, no, excuse me, 17 years old. Go to her opponent from Norway. So Lexi <laughs> Keller, 17 years old, was on the compound junior women's team from the US that finished second earlier this week here in Las Vegas and getting some sage words of advice from her coach. So again, television, it's so hard to get an idea of what you're trying to accomplish, what these girls are trying to accomplish at this event. And if you want to picture it for yourself at home, you're aiming basically at the size of a penny from across a basketball court. Right, 18 meters. Pretty close Probably to 20 yards. 20, 25 yards, yeah, 20 yards. Yeah, it's about 10 centimeters shy, about four inches shy of 20 yards. 
So as close as it may seem, Ten. that target is awfully small. That target is awfully tiny. Calls for great eyesight, a steady hand, nerves Ooh, of steel. That was a big twitch. This will be interesting. She oh, pulled it back. Hit nine. Nine. There's hey, a nine. Nice shot here. There you go. Sarubia. Hey, a little deal. bit shaky on that shot. Go hint. Oh, there's a big flinch. Yes, That's right. a miss. All right. So what that does is that means that she'll get only eight points for that top target. Well, actually, uh, means that. Uh, and she'll only be allowed to shoot one more arrow target. into another target. So she can target. get a maximum okay. of 18 points. Well, I think for that now. So at this point, basically, Miss Greidland has won this set as well. Nice shot. A nine just out of so a nine as she does right. hit the bottom target. Yeah. So the nurse, now she could have shot so either the, the middle or the bottom target. Bottom right, right. either one. Yeah. But she chose to just go on with her normal shooting program, aim at the bottom target, and shoot at that one. Get back on track. So the young lady from Norway is 18 years old. So they both had a pretty big, pretty big flinch on that one. Uh, the American paid for it a little bit more than the, the girl from Norway. Seven. Hopefully this helps both of them down the road. Possibly. They get into the competition at even a higher level on a bigger stage. Oh, oh absolutely. And, and one of the best things that Lexi can do right now is come back and shoot a great set. Because that'll prove to her, it'll get that oops out of her mind, and it'll prove to her that she can shoot well despite the fact that she's had a mistake. That's one of the, it's one of the terrific things about set play. Lexi, uh, Ms. Keller, is just as much in this game now as she was the last set. Uh, it's not that she's down four set points to nil, However, but she can still come back. Uh -huh. It's not a cumulative total, right. which at this okay. point, if it was cumulative it's total, she strong, might as well got pack here. up and go home. She's so many points behind. We're gonna keep fighting, that's the fun part. That's what, what we do, we always keep fighting. Only four nothing and you can hear it. How fun to shoot it. Shot. Telling you her, shot. you're still in this thing. Absolutely. Just Fight and have fun. Concentrate. Right, exactly. She wins the next two set points. Well, she wins the next two sets. Okay. It's a, it's a tie game. game. Right. 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 Four nil in set play. But it's also Lexi Keller at that age, I, I can't imagine one. what the emotions are doing to her. Uh, nice strong shot. It'll be, she'll have to work hard to settle herself down after that and get to work. She's got the skills. She's made it all the way to the gold medal match. There's a nice day. Oh, That's what I like there to see. There you go. I like that. So let's tell her dialing in. Oh, there's another twitch. Oh, That's interesting. Ten. Ten. And gets a 10. Another great shot. Just hey, like the the now. So she recovers from the flinch. Oh, good out on. And Runya Greidland from Norway. Ten. There you go. Ooh, I like that. that. Dead about. center. Inside out. A little bit of archery jargon there. Uh, an inside out 10 is a 10 that doesn't touch the inside of the 10 ring. 10 9 liner, probably a 10. Nice and strong. We'll get a trifecta right here. Slap it off. This is the end of the set with Mono. Slap it off. Athletes. Almost walking them through. Nice. The Another nice shot. That's a gorgeous Ooh, comeback shows. after that previous set. <laughs> That's a mentally strong archer right there. That's terrific. Ten. Oh, there's another 10. That's interesting. Oh, so this yeah, could yeah. be a split set. Do not have a uh, clear <laughs> determination of the value of one two yes. arrows. We will wait for the judges to go. Is that it? As you said a little while ago, if the score stands as posted, it's going to be 5-1 in favor of Ms. Greidland. If they split it, it'll be 5-1. But it could go either way. It could be uh, Ms. Greidland winning right here, depending on However, whether her arrow, if Ms. Greidland's arrow is 9 star nine. is considered a 10, the ten and Ms. Keller's yeah. is considered a 9, oh, then Ms. Greidland would win the match straight out. If it goes the other way, so Ms. Greidland's 9 has already been judged a 10. So the best Ms. Keller can hope for is a tie and live to fight another day. Thank you. Hopefully the judge will indicate so waiting for the final decision from the judges. 
Oh, it looks like it. Uh, it looks like it's going to be a rule to ten. Yeah. Uh, nine. From the sound of the coaches, mm -hmm. it sounds like uh, <laughs> the Norwegian has won. Waiting for the official upload of the score. The best result to date has been a pair of ninth and place victory finishers. for Rune Grandland of Norway. Straight sets. <laughs> <laughs> he was also on Norway's mixed team. The Silver medal. Second stop on the Archer. Lexi Keller, USA. Well, that's a good win for Miss Greidland. It's a, it's a bit of a shame and a bit of a learning lesson for Miss Keller. And uh, it's one to grow on, I guess. I guess that's a good way of putting it here. So Lexi obviously disappointed, but again, hey, getting an opportunity great. to compete in this kind of a setting. We stand here a good step down the road, I'm sure. But it's Una Grandis-Breidland of Norway who wins 6-0. Straight set victory. Sets. Straight sets. So the junior women's compound gold medal match goes to the Norwegian. A compound Rune junior Breidland. men's gold medal final.